Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video has several topics. The first one is I'll be announcing the winner of the $25 gift certificate from the Christmas giveaway. I'll also be talking about a recent business experience I've encountered with a business that really takes care of their customers and I want to pass that information to you guys. And lastly, we'll be talking about the recent release from Walther's Proto, which is the 85-foot ACF Observation Dome Lounge Car. This is in Union Pacific Scheme. It's City of Los Angeles, and it's lighted. And we'll go into details on this car. So let's go ahead and get started. As you guys have been waiting, I'm sorry I was delayed, but the winner of the giveaway for the uh, $25 gift certificate is the UP Steam Fan. Now this giveaway, for you guys that didn't quite catch it, it was a Christmas video where I kind of talked about my wishes for Christmas. We covered the year in review. And also, I told you guys that if you put a comment down below, you'll be entered in a giveaway for $25. Every comment is a dollar out of my pocket that I donate towards Sandy Hook Relief. And I still have to research the good quality volunteer organizations, the good quality uh, organizations that uh, handle the charity for the Sandy Hook to find a good one, but we raised $294. We had 294 comments on that video, and like I said, the winner of the $25 gift certificate is the UP Steam Fan. Uh, that is a username, so please contact me for your gift certificate. Now, you have a couple options here. In the future, I will be giving away money through overlandhobbies.com. Basically, you'll tell me what you want, I'll order it and ship it to you through overlandhobbies.com. But for this video, I'm sticking to my word where I said that I would deal with modeltrainstuff.com and give you a $25 e-gift certificate to that. So if you prefer one or the other, let me know. I will give $25 either way. Just uh, be sure to contact me via private message or on my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash hoscaleproductreviews. So that's the winner of that. Now I want to talk about a recent positive business experience that I had and pass that information on to you guys. As you guys know, I purchased two Overland Models SD70Ms recently, and I purchased that from www.brasstrains.com. Now, I was a little concerned about this company at first because it's such a large company. They deal in such large amounts of brass, and they have an eBay page, which is uh, eBay's page is uh, Dan's Train Depot. I'll put the link right here on the video right about now so you can see how to access their eBay page because they sell a lot of plastic, too, uh, through eBay. But anyway, I was a little concerned because of the size of the company, but I got these two SD70Ms. I had a couple concerns that I called them about. They addressed the concerns over the phone. They took care of me, and they were over the top with their customer service. Just a great job with their customer service. So I just want you guys to take a look at this company because it's really good. So check those guys out. They do a great job. I was just overly impressed with those guys. All right, so that's taken care of. Now let's talk about the review of the Walther's Proto. 85 foot ACF observation dome lounge car. Now this car, as you can see, Walters has recently changed their packaging. I don't know how long ago, but uh, this is the new packaging for the Proto uh, series Walters stuff. So let's go ahead and head to the layout and take a look at what Walters has to offer you in this 85 foot observation dome observation car. Okay, so what we have here is the Walther's Dome observation car, 85 foot. One kind of funny thing about this car, I know it's not a huge deal, but uh, this end you cannot get into any longer unless you just rip it open. Walther's has uh, eliminated one end opening, so you open from one way only to get into the box. Obviously, you have the Dome observation car in the box, uh, but you got some other goodies as well. You have your warranty card, obviously. You've got some uh, decals that you can apply with different numbers. So you got that. And then you have a nice little pamphlet here to break this open. Check out the exploded parts diagrams, things like that. And then you've got all the parts lists in case something's wrong. You can order the parts, either covered by warranty or not. And they give you decal placement instructions and how to apply decals if you've never applied them before. So now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the car. So the car I've already had out of the box. I'm just unboxing so you guys can see what you get out of the box. But uh, I've already had this out of the box. And i got to tell you, you know, it's got some good detail uh, up top. Uh, nice roof detail. You can see the little rivets um, in the uh, roof. 
uh, but uh, overall not not too too super detailed on the roof. Uh, a little place I was kind of disappointed was the bottom. It's got detail, but uh, I've seen models at this price detailed uh, a lot better. And we'll get to the price in a minute. So the uh, drum head here, we'll also talk about in a minute because that was a little bit of a disappointment. But uh, overall the car runs great on the layout and it looks nice. Uh, it has some interior lighting which I will show you also once we get it on the layout. You can see it's got uh, interior details installed. The seats uh, are, sit are uh, all installed here. I didn't have any problems with broken parts or anything floating around on the interior. And it's got a uh, nice little detailed interior as well. So lower interior as well. Now you've got uh, electrical pickup here on these wheels uh, so you can power the uh, interior lighting. However, there is no uh, capacitor in there to make it a steady uh, light. So you, you have a, basically a track interruption of power anywhere, even a little, little blip, it's going to flicker. So you don't have flicker-free lighting in this car. So let's go ahead and put it onto the layout, and we'll take a look from there. Okay, so we're a little more close and more comfortable with the 85-foot ACF Observation Dome Lounge car here on the layout. Now this version is lit, as you can see. I'll kill the lights later so you can see the lighting in more detail. But right now the interior is lit. One thing that kind of disappointed me is that the drum head and the rear marker lights and the side marker lights are not lit. So side marker lights not lit, rear marker lights not lit, drum head not lit. So really, all you're paying for in the lighted version is the interior. And here's the price difference. The lighted version is $89.98 MSRP. The unlighted version is $79.98. So if you don't mind the interior not being lit, then save yourself the money and go with the $79.98. I'll tell you that right now. I was a little disappointed with Wallers because of their price points. I mean, at $89.98 MSRP, that is in the price range. Actually, the Broadway Limited California Zephyr cars are priced less MSRP. And you have lit interiors. You've got a rear marker light that's lit. You have a drum head that's lit and side marker lights and more underbody detail than this Walders unit. So I'm a little upset with Walders on that, that they didn't go a little further to, the, to do that for that price point. And I think a lot of people are going to be shocked when they realize that the drum head is not lit. Also, there's some shine through, there's some seams. As we take a look a little closer at this observation car, technically uh, observation dome lounge car, you can see that what Walders did was they took their regular cars and when I say regular cars uh, you can look at my other cars down here see these all the way down these domes all the way down the line I've got domes here and all they did was take it and cut it off and they put this rear piece here so there's a seam that runs right down here and these grab irons are even crooked because the seams not lined up perfectly and then on top you have the roof that separates so you might be able to see when I turn the lights down here in a minute that there's shine through really bad uh, especially towards the back it's like a, a glaring shine through so those are the things that I don't like about this model and for the price I would kind of expected more from Walters but you know whatever they're going through or whatever finances are behind it that's not for me to judge I'm just letting you guys know what product you're gonna get so now with that said, I've pretty much covered the detail of the car. I'll let you take a little closer look at the detail. I don't have my camera person today, so I'm working straight off a tripod and it gets a little creaky at times. I think the tripod wants oil. But anyway, you can see the detail. I mean, it's nice. Uh, there are tinted windows and things like that. But the drum head kind of killed it for me. I purchased this car so I could kind of run my consist and have a, a consist that could date back to earlier areas because of this car. And now I'm really disappointed. I'll probably just throw it on eBay. All right, I'm going to kill some lights so you guys can take a closer look at the interior lighting of the car and see what all it lights. All right, I tried to get the light lighting as best as I could uh, dimmed down. But what you have here is the interior lighting of the the dome car. It does not light up through the upper dome very well at all. I can show you that. But as you see here, the rear marker light, which is right above this blue light, that's basically just shine through from the inside that they've made a little opening. Uh, this red light is not lit. 
that blue light is actually supposed to be a green light according to a prototype and you've got kind of a blue light so it's not prototypically accurate it's not well lit and as you can see there's this nice big shine through no matter what you do it doesn't go away pushing down on the roof or anything like that and you can see as the car rolls along you have it flickering because there's no capacitor in there nothing to hold a charge to keep that lighting flicker free but anyway that's about it for the Walther's dome car I'll quickly show you the upper area of the dome so you can see that it's not very well lit at all the basically the lighting shines through the bottom here let me go ahead and kill the lights completely so you can see that real quick okay so you can see that the upper area of the dome is not lit well it just basically is floor shine through and then the back area of this car has a more uh, white light which to me looks more prototypical than this kind of blue tintish light up here all right guys i will see you next time right here on my channel Look forward to uh, future videos with some more reviews coming up soon. We'll be going on the road here in a couple weeks and checking out some cool stuff on the road. And, like I said, check out www.brasstrains.com. They really take care of their people. And on eBay, Dan's Train Depot. I'll send you guys both the links. You'll see them throughout the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time right here on my channel.